it's Sarah, and it's time for Coffee and Crochet with Sarah. I hope that everyone's doing good today. I hope you got you a nice, big, fresh cup of coffee. And we're going to have some fun today because it's St. Patrick's Day, right? So we're going to have some fun. I'm going to show you some new crochet hooks that I picked up. I'm going to show you some new yarns. And I'm also going to show you some new patterns and some new videos. I had a little trouble connecting this morning, so I hope everything's looking good and that you can hear me just fine. And like I said, we've got new videos, new patterns, new yarn, and new crochet hooks to show you. But first of all, I just want to remind you that I don't care if you're Irish or not. No kissing. <laughs> No pinching. <laughs> Someone posted something this morning that said, kiss me, I'm Irish. Wait, never mind. <laughs> no kissing. <laughs> and no pinching. I do not like pinching. <laughs> well, good morning. And what I want to do today is just have a cheerful and fun video to take our mind off things going on around us and just have a few minutes of just a good time. All right. So, the first thing we need to do is clink in. And I've got my chihuahua cup where my chihuahua's wearing a green sweater. <laughs> to be honest with you, I could not find my St. Patrick's Day cup. I have one that I made where you draw on it with um, your Sharpies, and then you bake it in the oven. And I really love it, and I set it aside for St. Patrick's Day every year, and I can't find it today. And this happened to me a few years ago when I lost my Posh Pooch Designs Cup. So, oh well. As long as it holds coffee, I'm good. Call Lincoln, everybody. And I'm glad to see all your names popping up. People that I recognize and some of you that I don't. Thank you, thank you, thank you for popping in. Now, today we're also going to announce the winner of the crochet um giveaway or the yarn not crochet giveaway for march okay so we're going to do that in just a second but <clears throat> i have to tell you another joke <laughs> the other day my granddaughter was at the house and we always do these little she's almost she'll be eight in september and we always do these little knock knock jokes like knock knock who's there boo hoo don't cry you know well she said i have a joke for you oma and it's kind of about yarn she calls me oma my grandkids do um, and she said, it's kind of about yarn. I said, okay. She goes, well, does yarn come from sheep? And I said, well, some yarns come from sheep. From sheep. <laughs> she said, okay, so here's my joke. She said, where do sheep go on vacation? I said, I don't know, the ba ba backyard. And she just laughed. She said, no, they go to the ba ba Bahamas. <laughs> Is that not the corniest joke you ever heard? <laughs> I'm just trying to give you all a cheerful day. I don't even care if they're corny jokes. <laughs> all right. Now, what I want to do right now is give you the name of the winner of our giveaway. And let me show it to you one more time. Oops, it's on the wrong side of the table here. You're going to receive this bag. This is our project bag. It's a muslin bag. Oops, let's move the strap there. And this one, it says Coffee and Crochet with Sarah. It's a nice big bag. And you're going to receive two of these dark teal and two of these cream color. It's kind of an off-white, I think. I keep saying white, but it's an off-white. They're 100% Peruvian wool, and you're going to get two of each color. All right. Are you ready to know who the winner is? I'm ready to tell you. <laughs> All right, let me look at my notes. Now, before I give the name, remember, never, ever, ever, ever put your email address or your shipping address in any comment. On Facebook, on YouTube, on Twitter, nowhere, don't ever do it, okay? How you contact me, there's two ways. You can go to Posh Pooch Designs and just message me, or you can go to www.poshpoochdesigns.com, which is my website, and that link is also underneath the video on YouTube, and you can also find it on the Posh Pooch Designs Facebook page in the About section, okay? And then on that page, there's a Contact tab. All right, so that's how you contact me. 
and I all I need is your shipping address and if you want to be notified for the tracking number you can give me your email address but never put it out in public anywhere only in a message or an email okay all right the winner is Don Littlefield Don D A U N Littlefield L I T T L E F I E L D so congratulations Don and if she's not here and you all know who she is I didn't see her name pop in send her a message and let her know that she's the March winner of our giveaway all right now I'm going to click over to my roaming cam where my dogs are there's Maximo and Rosie Max is cleaning his paws it looks like and Rosie's laying on our new blanket and cushion and so what I'm trying to do um, for the next few weeks or so is do some projects that you can do that maybe uses up your leftover yarns and so that is our um, blanket that Rosie's laying on right there and Max and you can make that into a blanket or you can make it into a cushion by putting two together and I do that by saving my old beach towels and my old blank and uh, uh, the small blankets or just leftover t-shirts you can lay them flat and then slide them inside and then crochet it shut I've never had any problem with my towel sliding around when I wash it but if you do you can tack them in the corners and that's one of our new it's not a brand new pattern it's a pattern I had out there and then I wanted to show you how to take a just a basic rectangle blanket and make it into a cushion for your dog and it's super easy to make bigger or smaller because it's just basic half double crochet stitches that you stitch in rows and you make a rectangle you make a trim on the outside and then you put the two together super easy and you can stuff it with whatever you want to if you want to use polyester fiber fill you can if you want to use towels old blankets old t-shirts any of those things just to give your puppy some cushion they'll all work just fine alright so that's one of the things that we did this week the other thing that we did was yesterday some of you have already posted pictures I'm so excited let me go to my top cam here <clears throat> that's a bar of soap this is our March washcloth of the month this is our striped shells washcloth and um, you can make it in nice big stripes this one I change the colors every four stripes and this one I did in variegated so you can do that washcloth however you want and you can also do it all in one color if you want to it's a really easy pattern it works up really quick and you can use any cottons that you want this one this white and green are I love this cotton from Hobby Lobby this one is premier cotton and I found the premier cotton to be just a smidge thinner these all say that they're medium number four cottons, but this I find to be a little bit uh, thinner. The, ta uh, the washcloth, not towel, works out to be about 10 by 10, but I found this one to be a little closer to about nine and a half. It doesn't matter to me. You can always add an extra row if you want it to be exactly 10 by 10. This one is peaches and cream, the pink variegated and the white. So that's our pattern for our washcloth of the month. And um, I put that out there yesterday, and I really love this one. This is every every month I say this is my new favorite because that always happens. <laughs> so those are our two new patterns. Now I had a third one already to go. I have to tell you the funniest story about this. All right, so this is my Chihuahua mug cozy. You see, I used a little paw print button, and this one kind of looks like Maximo, right? It's black and white. Okay, so I did the video and I decided to do one that looked kind of like Rosie. Her ears are down there, which is super fun. All right, this one's falling off. <laughs> These cups are a little more narrow than my regular coffee cups. So you'll have to keep that in mind when putting your buttons on. But anyway, the funny story is this. I uh, updated the pattern. I've got new pictures. I edited all the pictures and I went to start editing the video and for some reason I kept saying the count the stitch count wrong and I can't remember if it was supposed to be 36 and I was saying 46 but it was totally wrong and I'm thinking what in the world was I doing I wasn't even paying attention 
So that video is probably going to come out the next couple of days. <laughs> and I, what I was trying to do with it is, if you see, this one kind of looks like Maximo. It's white with black ears and a black nose. And what I was trying to do is to get you to make one and make it look like your pet. You can change the ears and make it into a kitty cat by making short ears. You can have the ears go down so it looks like a different type of puppy. You could make it pink and make it a piggy. You could add some extra fur and make it a hedgehog. I mean, whatever you wanted to do. And it would be a lot of fun just to see how creative you can be and try to make them look like your pets. <laughs> so... Hopefully, the next couple of days, I'll be able to get that out for you. I just, I, I wanted to share that with you because I want you to know, even us who do videos, we make mistakes. <laughs> Luckily, I caught that one. I said the wrong stitch count like four times. And I said the same number like four times. <laughs> so, anywho... And like I said, what I'm trying to do the next couple of weeks, since I have a little extra time on my hands, <laughs> is I want to do some crochet patterns that you can whip up quickly, don't take a lot of time, but keep your hands busy and make something fun. Um, and so that's kind of my goal. I'm going to try to do a few more stash busting patterns, but I've been posting them as well. And then just also some more fun stuff, just to keep us... Um, to keep the joy. It's hard to keep the joy in hard times, but we can do it. We can do it. All right. Now, <clears throat> I want to show you a couple of new things. Um, on Saturday morning, my husband and I went out shopping looking for some necessities. <laughs> and I told him, I said, this is my favorite style of crochet hook. Okay. I have lost my eye hook, which is a 5.50. But if you purchase the new boy hooks, they're 5.25. Well, I wanted one of these... I believe, what is this? This is, is it the clover? That's what it is, the clover hooks. I like these, and, and because my fingers are short and kind of chubby, they fit perfect for me. And you can see the letters great when I'm doing a tutorial. Let me click back over to my top cam. Just want to show you, see how clearly you can see that? When I use a metal hook, it's a lot more difficult for you to see it. But also, I, I just love these hooks. Long story short, they had every letter and size but the eye hook and so I came across this set and I wanted to show you this the they're about the same length just a little bit longer for the handle and here's the eye hook it's a 5.5 and I don't know why the boy hooks changed their number made it a 5.25 it's not that big of a deal unless you're doing something really intricate and that can be really frustrating Okay, the other thing I want you to see is they're the type as boy hooks. I do not care for the Susan Bates style that has the sharp um, inline type thing. I don't care for that. Some people really like it. I think it's just what you learned with. It's not, they're not bad hooks. They're just not my favorite. And so they have the right kind of hooks. Okay, and this one has a 7.0 millimeter in the set. That is one of my favorite hooks to work with, but you can never find it. It doesn't have a letter. It's just called the 7.0 millimeter crochet hook. I like it because it's, it's a good place to, to size to have. It's after the eye. It's just a good hook. And, I, and it's one that I like to use a lot for dog... Um, beds and things like that where I'm using a little bit chunkier yarn. Anyway, I thought I would let you know that was in there. Now, this set was $9.99 and you're getting 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 10 hooks. The bottom is short. You've got plenty of room for your, your um, work to be worked up here because you can see it's about like this one. And they're very comfortable. This is not a rubbery hook. It is a hard hook like this one. I wish it had this little soft pad here because I do like that. But anyway, I wanted to tell you about that. And so what we did is it was $9.99. I used my 40% off coupon and I got these really cheap. I got a whole set at Hobby Lobby. Yarnology is the Hobby Lobby brand. <clears throat> anyway, I wanted to tell you about that because you can see I have short fingers. They're a little chubby. And um, when my I ha do have arthritis in my fingers and when it's 
acting up, these have been my favorite hooks. If I come across an eye hook in this brand, of course, I'll go ahead and buy it also. But I wanted to tell you about that because I think it's a really good bargain. And I saw those on the Hobby Lobby website. So if you're home like me and you want that set of hooks, you can always order it off their website as well. All right. Now I want to show you two new yarns that came in this week. And I'm really excited about both of them. The first one is this cotton. Um, this is called Coastal Cotton. It's by Loops and Threads. It's, a, it's like a, a brushed denim. Let's see, what is this called? It's just called blue. <laughs> but it's like a, brush, a brushed denim. Let me show you on this other one because it's so much easier if you can see it up close. The color just seems to be better. See, it's like, uh, I, I think what I'm thinking of is the stonewash denim is what it reminds me of. And I want, I'm going to use this to make my blue hat. You know, a lot of people are doing the hat, not hate type hat um, from Lion Brand. And I uh, was asked to write a pattern. So I've got a pattern ready to go. It's going to be a blue slouchy. And I want to use this yarn for that. And I think it's going to be perfect. It's not a Lion Brand yarn. It's loops and threads. But Lion Brand does have a denim uh, yarn that will work, but I wanted it to be cotton because I'm thinking spring and summer. All right, so I, I picked up two of those. You know me, I never get one, I always get two. All right, so the other one I wanted to show you is this new scrubby yarn that they just sent me, and it's called Scrub It. It's a Mary Maxim, it's a really pretty blue. And let me pull this out so you can see what it looks like. It's really different, it's thin. You know what? I'm going to take it to the other camera again. I want you to be able to see it. Let's move some of this stuff out of the way. Let me move my, my hooks out of the way there. Here it is. Mary Maxim Scrub It 100% Cotton Fringe. And I it's a lot thinner. And it does have the, the fringe on it. And I think that I will probably use this with a cotton as well. Like hold a... A strand of cotton along with this if I um, use this <clears throat> which I will you know me I'm gonna crochet with everything <laughs> um, I don't know the price of it you'd have to look online for that but it is 76 yards looks like um, 1.7 ounces there it's called blue Mary Maxim scrub it 100% cotton fringe and so those are two new yarns that I had come in this week. Now, I have a lot of really interesting projects coming up. And like I said, I'm trying to do some things that we can do at home. Now, what I really want to encourage you to do, my foot's going to sleep. <laughs> I had to move my foot. What I really want to encourage you to do right now is really get into your yarn stash look through it and um, you can make um, like I said the beds for the dogs and the thing about that is of course you can make a top and a bottom and use them as rugs and those are great things to donate to your pet rescues because when the dogs come in they're on a cement floor and if you can give them a, a place to sit and then when the dogs are rescued they give them that blanket that has their scent on it so it's kind of a you know, a neat thing that you can do if you've got a lot of leftover yarn. Another thing that you can do is you can make lap quilts. Um, lap quilts about 36, I make mine 36 wide by about 48 long. And I, 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 I don't think that's what most people do. I think theirs are a little smaller. But I learned this just from my mom, spent the last few of her years in an electric wheelchair. And it was the right size to come down over her legs. And because my mom, my mom loved to wear a fancy dress and she would go to church in her fancy dress and then put this lap blanket down over her knees so that her, you know, she was modest. <laughs> so you can, you can do that as well. You can make lap blankets and you can donate those to nursing homes. Um, just make sure that, you know, you wash them first and they're nice and clean. Things like that to keep your hands busy. Okay. And that's why I say get into your yarn stash. Um, think of things that you can make for other people that you can keep your hands busy, do something for other people and, you know, make yourself feel good, you know, because, um, we can allow hard times to cause us to get depressed or sad. I don't really want to use the word depressed because that's a whole different, um, 
thing. But what I'm talking about is just, we get, if you need human contact and you get a little lonely, and so if you can do something, um, you know, you can't, you know, once whatever time is up, whenever this hard time passes, we can take those things and donate them to the dog rescue or to nursing homes or just people that you love. And, and so that's what I really, really want to encourage you to do. I wanted to do this video and have it be uplifting and joyful. And I want you all to know how much I really, really, really appreciate all of you. You know, we struggled last week with our video and I was like, oh, I hope this week's works, you know, and everything worked just fine. You just never know with electronics. And so I'm going to leave you with this. I'm going to let you go. It's not a real long video today. Um, I got fun stuff planned for you. I've got a few more washcloths that you know, the dog <laughs> coffee mug cozy and some other things going on. Okay. And did I just see Don click in? Let me look on here real quick. I don't know if I saw her name. Her name sticks out because she spells her name just a little bit different. All right. So if you know Don Littlefield, that's she is our winner for the March giveaway. So make sure that you let her know um, that she won. And we'll, we'll get that out right away. Don't panic. My husband can go to the, to the post office for me. <laughs> All righty. So, like I said, I'm going to let you go. Thank you for being a part of Posh Pooch Designs. Thank you for being a part of my YouTube channel. Thank you for just being a part of my life. Because, like I always say, I can't do this without you. Now, you get those crochet hooks out and that yarn and keep your spirits up. We'll see you next week. Bye-bye now.